This is, of course, the great Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits fifth album, Brothers in Arms, 1985, The Man's Too Strong. Now this is a song that has been heavily requested at TG for a long time, and um, finally getting around to it, one I've been meaning to do for, for quite a while. It's um, deceptively simple and deceptively complex at the same time. Now, Knopfler, of course, plays without a pick and uses his thumb for picking out these bass notes. This is a fairly similar, uh, similar to what Neil Young does a lot, most more with a pick with Neil, but in any kind of bluegrass playing, that is, that we could play the same thing with the pick. <laughs> I'll talk about doing it both ways, but you can really do whichever is more comfortable for you. Sometimes I recommend doing it with, with the way that is the least comfortable for you, to branch out a little bit. Now the rest of the song, so it has a couple of different parts. Um, complex arrangement as well, uh, typical of, of some of the that middle period of Dire Straits songs uh, between from the last, really the, the, the middle three albums, Making Movies, Love Over Gold, and Brothers in Arms. Other great tunes on here, One World, Your Latest Trick, um, Money for Nothing, of course. So uh, I really encourage you to check out Brothers in Arms if you don't have it. But you should have it, which is probably why you're watching this, this, this video. Um, we have got a couple different sections. We've got this little bluegrassy intro that, with the melody picked out, kind of claw hammer style or frailing, um, similar to some things that are done on the banjo. Then we just have a fairly simple chord progression through the verse with chord, normal chords, mostly kind of from the key of, key of D, but it, uh, it fluctuates between D and D minor and uses a lot of different chords, again, typical of, of Knopfler. Then, of course, we have the, um, the chorus, which is fairly short, really just a couple of lines, and the big old crashing. <laughs> kind of comes back with a little gentle strumming. So the song has, it has a little folky feel, it has bluegrass feel in the beginning, and then a little heavier folk feel in the verse, and then kind of the symphonic crashing in the instrumental part that follows the chorus. So a lot of different stuff, but we're just going to talk about playing an acoustic, solo acoustic, not solo, not, not playing an instrumental, but just, just strumming through the chords and taking a look at the intro. What I have is, is a tab to really just the first eight measures of the intro and that's that's um, we're gonna get kind of specific about that but there's a lot of variety as to what you can do here you don't have to do it any one way you could pretty much play the chords D one thing that's really important in this song is a lot of times we don't hear the really distinctly we don't hear the F sharp on the D chord we hear more of a D5 where the first string is being killed and, le and left open but being touched by the third finger so you're really only getting a power chord sound. So we're trying to not, um, not always be really clear as to whether the D chord is D or D minor. There are a couple times when we clearly want to hear D, a couple of, one other time specifically when we clearly want to hear D minor. And we'll also talk about the outro, which is, uh, it's really just an unusual series of chords, one of which we haven't even heard until it, it happens in the outro. And, uh, but we're not going to talk, anyway, so we'll talk about the outro. We're going to get to everything that you need to do to do this lesson. Okay, next segment we'll talk about the chords and the, and the strumming a little bit, and then we'll piece it all together with the chord, the arrangement, and you know the drill. Coming up, the man's too strong. That was the introductory segment to a five or six part lesson that I put together on the man's too strong. And in it we talk about playing it with a pick or playing it with your fingers and talk about all the parts, including the outro that has a very unusual sequence of chords. We hear from our G minors, we hear some Fs and some F minors and A minors and, and things like that. So I try to cover all the bases in this song rather than just show you, you know, what he's doing in the intro because 
but that is one of the coolest parts. So if you'd like to see the lesson, it's up. It's part of the Target program program at Totally Guitars, which is our monthly subscription program. Also available as a uh, single lesson if you'd like to just, just pick up one and give it a try and see if you like the style of lessons that we have at Totally Guitars. There are a lot of free lessons there as well to get you started. So there's a whole free lesson section if you just want to check out some samples and see if what we have is for you. So just encourage you to come visit us at Totally Guitars, especially though if you're interested in working on The Man's Too Strong. There are some other Dire Straits tunes there. Uh, we don't go too far into his lead playing because it's sort of an acoustic guitar site. But we uh, we take a look at the rhythm guitar parts, so even things like Money for Nothing, <laughs> and Sultans of Swing, and, and Romeo and Juliet, nice finger picking tune and open G tuning. So all those Dire Straits tunes are there. Come visit us at Totally Guitars when you can.